Okay. I'll make shake great. We're gonna take these supplies. To me. This roll top desk. Hey guys, I'm Corey, this makes shape great, and we are making a desk today in a continued effort to get this shop organized and looking better and a better place for us to make stuff in general. Um, we're going to make Jess a roll top desk. Now, one thing I don't like about like traditional ones is they're very stylized and stuff like that. And so ours is going to be a little more stripped down, sleek, I don't want to say modern, but maybe it's going to be more functional than looks, although I do still want it to look nice. Um, so we got some plywood we got to cut down, we got other stuff we need to do, but we need to start with a drawing. So this is what we're looking to do. Like I said, it's going to be more function over form. I know this is a light drawing, so you guys might not be able to see it real well, but desktop, some drawers over here, the roll top, um, or also called a timbre door. I haven't really seen figured out what the difference is or if there is a difference but there's kits you can buy for this and stuff like that we're going to try to make our own and do it our way not sure if it's the right way but that's what we're going to try to do for the construction of all this we're going to use mostly plywood I'm not sure if this is going to work I'm not sure how this is going to turn out but you don't know unless you try so here we go So I got this at Harbor Freight, it's called an edge cut guide. Um, basically what you do is you would use it just like you would a straight edge, but it's already got a clamp built in. And so you line it up on both sides and then you just clamp it down, run your saw right alongside of it. Makes it a lot easier. with wood glue and pocket holes. Let's do it. Got the one side glued up, it's all good. Now we just need to connect it to the top and then connect the other side. you put on. On this side I had to face the room um, and then just wood putty them in. Um, I probably could have pocket hold it but I didn't think about it till afterwards. The glue's dried on everything though so now we can take it out of the clamps and we're gonna work on beefing up the top of the desk a little bit. Um, we didn't think this was gonna be a good and, good and thick enough for the actual top so we got these uh, one by 12 boards. We're gonna use them at the top plus they look a little nicer. We just gotta glue, screw, and attach these. We got these two, and then we got a little one for the back. Okay, this is most of the way dry 
because there's some glue squeezed out that is dried that we need to scrape off. And since I don't have a card scraper, we're gonna use a razor blade. I sanded the whole top. I didn't make you guys watch that because go find a DIY video and you can watch sanding. But it's all sanded. Um, now we're going to connect it to the bottom. Sorry. That was knocking me over. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a whole lot of room here. <laughs> I don't have eyes in the back of my head, but anyway, that's what we're getting ready to do. gotten the bottom of the desk completely done with the exception of finishing the front edge, edges. Um, now we need to start working on the roll top. So to do that, what we need to do is we're going to, this is one of the cutoffs from when we did the bottom. It's the right width, um, or depth rather, we just need to draw our curve on here. And then we're gonna take this over to the bandsaw and cut off the edge. All right, this is how we're gonna do this. I'm gonna find the halfway point, which with this being 24 inches, will be nice and easy. We're just gonna transfer this mark down a little bit, and then we're gonna use a simple screw. And we're gonna tie some string to it, tie that to a pencil, and make our circle. So, I kind of made a mistake. When I did this, did everything right, just for one thing, and that was I forgot that there's going to be a straight part, and I need to account for that. So, I've moved this up about 12 inches, and then I'm going to do this again, and that will be the top. So, yeah, same way we did the last one. Okay, we've gotten our, our new lines drawn. Like I said, ignore these. Um, right here. So, go straight back. And then straight down, and this curve curves all the way around. Um, we're gonna take this, we're gonna cut off the corner, take this over to the bandsaw, and cut this out once. We use the other sheets of plywood over here to cut out um, three more like this. because we're gonna take it over to the saw and cut this part out. Okay, so we were gonna use the bandsaw to do all of the cutting, but it was all in one big block, but the bandsaw blade kept getting binded. So I had to cut them down to like a rough size, and then now we're gonna have to do it one by one, and I'll cut along the line and use the off cut as a template to draw into the other ones. Yep.
time to start gluing and clamping. making a spacer for the front because for some reason I guess because I got such small right angle clamps um the front was still bending in so I cut this to about the same width as in between put it in the front to help space out the correct width so waiting on all this to dry then we start edge banding okay I lied I'm not quite at uh, edge banding yet I cut down these little blocks I'm gonna put them on the inside here, one on each side, and one a little farther up for the shelf to go in. We're not gonna do a drawer, talk to Jess, she'd rather have a shelf. So, that's what we're gonna do. One thing we are going to do in the edge banding process is on this side it's just plywood holding it up so we actually made a legit leg that we're just going to glue right on the face of this to give it some extra support on this side so i'm going to do that real quick because well same process and actually it turned out better on the the desk um than it did on the sides but that's okay it still looks way better than it did when it just had plywood edges so i'm happy with it okay here's the plan we've gotten everything we needed to edge banded sanded down with the exception the wood for the roll top we are going to attempt to cut this correctly now. I got these long boards. They're uh, one by four by eight. They're uh, the what are they, premium ones. So they're not like two by four. We are going to cut it at the length we need. Cut the other half at the length we need. And then we're going to attempt to use the circular saw 
to cut dinos or rabbits in the sides to fit in the roll top. Depending on then if we need to, we'll then, if we have to, we'll cut these down in half. I think we might be okay. Not positive yet. So we're gonna start with cutting these down to size. Dado time. When we cut these, I was hoping that I wouldn't have to cut these in half to fit around the curve of the hutch, but apparently I do. So what we've done, we've taped them together Okay, clamp to a straight edge, and now we're just gonna cut them in half. I got them doubled up, because with this being so thin right here, I was afraid that the saw blade would break it. All cut, all rounded off, Let's start attaching the canvas. Pretty sure we're using bars. Okay, I was wrong. Before I assemble the door, probably your thing. Wait, so I'm not exactly 100% sure how to glue the fabric onto the back of this. Um, Obviously, with everything closing, like, it's a little hard to go get stuff. So, I'm not sure if this is going to work, but I'm going to try with glue. I figure it's cotton material, cotton the plant. Why not? Not sure if it'll work. We're going to try it. All right. Got it all glued on. Um, it appears to work. Um, I pressed it on enough that the glue's kind of seeping through, which is what I kind of wanted. So it was more of like a, a mechanical bond, just not stuck to it. You know what I mean? So that hopefully it would dry like through the fabric, if that makes sense. I know that someone's probably screaming at their computer right, or their phone right now, like, that's not the way you do it. I know I could have used E6000 or this or maybe even spray adhesive. Again, I didn't have any of them on hand. Okay, I'll let this dry, I think, probably overnight. And then we'll trim off the sides, get it all installed, and go from there. Okay, wood glue's all dry. And while it does seem to be holding pretty well, after sleeping on it, I did kind of reconsider that this would be enough in the long term. So, to fix it, or to reinforce it for the long term, we're going to use some pins. Some five minute epoxy. So, just had the idea, and I wish you would have told me ahead of time, but what I get for thinking on my own at work um, that I probably could just use the staple gun to attach all this. So, we're gonna use that idea as well as everything else because she told me when we were halfway through the tax. So I'd rather have it more more secured than it needs to be than not secured enough. So, just going through, adding a couple staples to each. I don't know what these are called. I keep wanting to say wrong or, or slaps. I don't know exactly what they're called. You guys know what this, these things are called? Let us know in the comments, dude. I'm not sure. I'm sure I can Google it, but whatever. Anyway, stapling these. Wait for this to dry. Alright, moment of truth. I'm gonna try to put this in that. Wish us luck. Got the roll top door 
and it appears to have fit correctly. We have not actually been able to test it in place yet until we get the top connect to the bottom. And to do that, we're going to use this doweling jig, dowel, and wood glue. So, here we go. I'm already recording, just so you know. That's fine, I'll cut it. That's no big deal. There's like a seal on this. <laughs> it's in a box. Why would you put a seal on it? It's in a box. Like, how much more sealed do you need it to be? At least put release seal or something on it. Ooh. What did you do? I did this out of order. What do you mean? Because We're not using this one. Pause. All right, so what I had forgotten to do is I got all the holes drilled for it, but these you put in the holes like so. And then when you, well, this one's a little big. But that's good. Um, then when you take this over to the matching piece, wow, that's big too. Why are these all different sizes? That's not helpful. Then when you take this over to the matching piece, it will tell you where to, to drill the corresponding hole. That way you can match it up exactly. You think they give you just like mark these things? Frustrating. There it is, okay. Once we get it marked and drilled, then we'll do the back. Do you understand? Mm-hmm. Okay. Try this again. Alright, so we got... We did it all off camera. Sorry, guys. You've seen me gluing up stuff and stuff like that, but it is assembled and we're getting ready to try out this door. Ugh. I'm nervous. My way to truth. Ready? Ready to open. It shuts. It gets jammed. See, look, it's jammed. Um, what about putting some stops there? Yeah, that's what I'm kind of thinking. Um, yeah, I already pulled up. Um, that. <laughs> um, cutoffs from these. Ha ha! Oh, that work. Let's try it. Let's see. One there. There. Um, is that enough room for you? Yeah, there should be plenty of room. Aha. And now it doesn't jam. And now it's perfect. All right, it's we're screwing baby. that in. We're screws. <laughs> um, this isn't going to look pretty, guys, but the only person who's going to see it is Jess. Um, so, yeah. <laughs> um, so, I'm going to show you. You know how to screw a piece of block into wood. Um, we're going to go ahead and put on this top. Again, you know how glue stuff. So uh, we're gonna do that and then we're done. Woo <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.
right, guys. It's all done. This was six solid days of work. It was a lot of work. Super happy with how it turns out. This does work. If I could do it a little differently, I would probably maybe uh, cut these all the way off and put like acrylic or something like that on the edges. But for not having looked at anything, instructions or anything like that, doing it my way, I think it worked out pretty good. I like it. <laughs> so if you want to see us make more stuff like this, hopefully it won't be this big for a while. Not for a while. <laughs> <laughs> um, please hit that subscribe button. You can uh, help support us to make projects like this at patreon.com backslash makeshape create. Find us on social media at makeshape create. And if you have any suggestions or comments on things we could have done better or differently, leave them down below. We'd love to hear them. Again, this was the biggest project we've ever undertaken and I am super, super happy with how it turned out. Um, but until uh, next week, guys, See ya. See ya.